America! <laughs> I thought you'd think your volume was off, so I'd get you. But anyway, get off them bunks. Fall in for mail call, you guys. Now, fall in right now. Mail call. Anyway, we did get some mail, and uh, it's been a fun day. What have I done? Uh, well, I made me a long putter. That's what I did. I put some PVC on it and stuff. Anyway, that was the fun part of my day. But anyway, fall in. Fall right in. You'd be pushing Mother Earth away from your face for 20 years. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we did get some mail right here. And let's get started. This letter comes from can't tell. It's, it's, it looks like Sherry in North Carolina. And it's got a stamp of a, looks like a dinosaur or something. I can't tell. It's a T-Rex. 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 Okay. And then on the back, it says mail call. Okay. And it is mail. I guess, do I need any more light? No, I think we're doing all right. Huh, I didn't turn any on. That's just the light from the inside. But anyway, having said that, inside is a little card. And uh, I'll read part of this. She wrote a long thing here. And uh, it's, anyway, she, she talks about, uh, first I want to thank you for your mail call videos, combining them with Beer 30. Oh, that reminds me. I mean, it's not really a Beer 30 video, but it, it's Beer 30. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Sherry. Anyway, uh, this is dated Friday, May 29th. It says, first, I want to thank you for the mail call videos. Combining them with Beer 30 will increase viewership and perhaps spur others to go to the extra effort to make more personal connection, make a more personal connection. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you're able to read my handwriting. I read a lot at our library, and library offers free online stuff. Uh, keep doing you. Uh, yeah, she says it won't stop raining in, in, in North Carolina. And I can't get up on my stand stand up paddle board. So anyway, but she also sent along with her card. See the card? It's pretty in it. A uh, study, or she made a copy of a study. I'll, I'll put it up here so you can read it. It's the healing power of people breathing, and it talks about it talks about how we inhale and exhale has profound effects on our health, and not just during a crisis like now. But anyway, I read the thing, and it was a lot of the studies by Stanford, Harvard, and other institutions. Uh, where they found that breathing habits were directly related to physical and mental health. And uh, anyway, it says breathe, breathing can properly allow us to live longer and healthier lives. You know, so when I talk about, you know, take deep breaths because it relieves stress and lowers your blood pressure, it does. Uh, anyway, but uh, this study, I'll try to, it's, it's okay, this is, uh, it says, the person's name on the, on the article is James Nestor, N-E-S-T-O-R. It was in the Wall Street Journal, Eastern Edition, New York, on May the 23rd, 2020. So if you want to check that out, you can, and uh, you'll be able to read the whole thing. Yeah. But anyway, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it's, uh, but it is true, you know, it, uh, taking deep breaths, yeah, it says, uh, when I read this article, article, all I could think is, Rusty already knows this. Well, actually, I didn't know the details that are in this, obviously, but I did know that taking deep breaths help, helps relieve stress, and relieving stress lowers blood pressure, which is extremely good for you. So now if I can get this card back in this envelope, we'll be good to go here. I always have, I can get things out of there. Oh, there I go. Okay. Now, thank you very much. Sherry, I believe that's correct. Thank you very much. And, and also for the research document. A lot of people think that I'm just being 
stupid or something when I talk about taking deep breath. This comes from this comes from Kevin in Texas. And let's see what Kevin's got here. Okay, I'll put this up there. Inside of this, he's got, it says right here, it says Rusty. Oh, he's got the mailbox on it. Yeah, my mailing address from now on, I'm just going to have one address. P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639. It says, Dear Rusty, here is a DVD of the 1946 Disney movie, Song of the South. This movie you probably saw as a kid. Walt Disney has done everything it can to wipe it from existence because it's supposedly racist. <clears throat> I hate censorship in all ways, and so do I. I, I totally hate censorship for, for any reason. If you don't want to deal with it, don't. Turn the TV off or don't watch the movie or do whatever you want to do, but censoring people is really stupid. So here's a copy if you want to watch and see all, all the Disney stuff. It says, I actually just watched it the other day after 10 years and don't see anything wrong. If you don't want it, just throw it away. zippity doo da, zippity a. Boy, I tell you, uh, my oh my, what a beautiful day. Remember that song? Everything is mighty satisfactory. If you Google, uh, it says uh, it says the movie title and the stars, Uncle Remus and the boy. I found their information interesting. Uh, anyway, yeah, I know what you're saying there about certain people hate for people, other people to be happy. I understand that. It's true. But be that as it may, thank you. This has got the CD right here called Songs of the South. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, I really do. And I'll, uh, I don't know if I, 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 don't, I don't think I have a CD player in my truck. I may have. Hell, I don't know. I've never looked. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much. Uh, Where's this from? How come I don't have it? Oh, here it is right here. Sorry. Uh, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, very much. And uh, now we'll put this in here. And uh, God dang, I was zizzering with my, with my left hand. This is going to be a left-handed zither day. But anyway, thank you, Sherry and Kevin, for the cards and letters. And now I will take a swaller of beer, and then we will zither the poop out of this stuff and honor them. Mm -hmm. Das is good. Oh man, I'm telling you, when I'm in mail call mode, I can't help myself. So let's get this thing done, Rusty, so I can go sit outside and drink a cup of beer. So let's do this. That's this is the bucket of honor, and now we're putting in the. Well, I'm not going to put in the CD, obviously. Put it over here, and then we'll put in the letter letters into the bucket of the bouquet of honor if I can get them in there let's find a spot over here here we go yeah, there we go now we got them in there so with that in mind uh, that out of the way how about right here okay good good for those of you that have the eye protection that I sent to 44 five thousand people they were they were uh, started out in Bernie Texas and went up to uh, San Diego California and over to Portland, Oregon, up into uh, Vancouver, Canada, and then Alaska, over to Russia, Vladivostok, down to Beijing, over to Kenya, back across to Brazil, up through Mexico City, and finally ended up at, uh, in Telford or Texas, where they were uh, finished and shipped all over the world. And they also shipped the helmets that weigh 350 pounds, so if you put one on when you got it, then more than likely you still have it on the day. But having said that, <laughs> this is your sunglass eye protection. And for those of you that have the helmets, the visor opens like this and closes like this. And you can turn it sideways if you want to or that way, or you can put it on backwards if you can lift it. But don't go swimming with your helmet on. Uh, I've got my name on this shirt. Somebody sent this to me a long time ago. It's a gilded shirt with V-neck, and I like it because it tells me who I am. And that, that way, if I can't remember my name, I just, oh, yeah, I'm right. Anyway, here's to you. Put on your eye protection now because we're thinking getting blithering right here. Anyway, so have your eye protection on now because I'm fixing to zither. And uh, the letters are in here in the bucket of honor. They're fixing to be honored. 
zither, 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 zither. See, you got to get loosened up. And uh, anyway, I got to get my zither in, in position so that I can zither. You ready? Close your visor, put your glasses on, be ready because old Rusty is fixing the zither, zither, zither. Ready? <laughs> Tickles my throat. Anyway, guys, one more time for the old Gipper. I got to get my zither ready. Ready, guys? Thank you for your letters. Thank you for your deal, all that stuff. Oh, zither. <laughs> They're coming to take me away, hey, hey. And I've said this a few times in my videos that if somebody shows up at your house with a long sleeve t a long sleeve shirt that has straps in the back and it's got really long sleeves, don't put it on because they're fixing to take you away. You may never come back. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me check one time, see if it's all ready for you to take your glasses off. You know, all the microwaves and radiation stuff. I mean, it's terrible what's in the air right now. Mr. Bill's right here. Did you hear him? He's talking. Anyway, one more time. I'll check. Mm, boy, I got one right in my eyelid. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. You can take off your sunglasses now. For those of you that have the 350 con 350 pound concrete helmets on, you don't have to take those off because there's no way you can lift 350 pounds. <laughs> And I know you're probably in a squatting position because you've gotten smashed down to your, your... You can always tell one of Rusty's Rangers that has a concrete helmet because they're only about four foot two. They were seven feet, now they're four foot two. They're kind of... Never mind, they're being smashed. But anyway, having said that, what else can I tell you? Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, Adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the Amazon link. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout. Kidney, gout, kidney stones also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And what does that mean? It's good for you, man. Yeah, just don't eat so much. And then, take deep breaths. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and uh, that relieves or lowers your blood pressure. And then that's true. That's true. I mean, that article uh, that I just mentioned uh, proves it. No, it's true. I read it a long time ago, and I've been doing it ever since. What it is, basically, the more lung capacity you have, and when you take these deep breaths, really deep breaths, you're increasing you, you know, a small amount, but you're increasing your lung capacity. And that helps you leave, live healthier. It does. And then what else? Uh... Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once, twice a day. Why? Because it's good for you. You may live healthier. You'll feel good immediately. And then you may live healthier a little longer. And then what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Boy, we live in a world where you've got to get, you got to hire guards that's so bad. But anyway, don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons up in there are forming neural links, which are your thoughts, or you. And, uh, you know, uh, turn off the TV media. i got to tell you, if, you, if any of y'all are watching TV, uh, this crap is going on. We've got, we got two, two big stories right now. The news media has never had it so good. You know what I mean? But having said that, if you choose to watch it, then choose to pay the price. High blood pressure, restless sleep, grouchiness and all that stuff. Anyway, and accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. And uh, yeah, if you want to send something, P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas 78639. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for your cards, letters, and all the other stuff that y'all send. I appreciate it. But just remember, I live in a 17-foot RV, guys. I don't have a hell of a lot of space. In fact, I have none. So with having said that, enjoy your Tuesday and enjoy your life. Adios amigos until next time. Zzz. <laughs>